Hi, friends, and welcome to today's Feisty Faith Chat. I'm Nancy Gavilanes, and thanks so much for joining me today. It is May. It's the month of Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to all the moms and spiritual moms out there. I hope you have a wonderful month. And everyone, I hope you're having a wonderful year. I love these spicy faith chats where we just have this moment to just stop and reflect on the goodness of God and to bolster our faith. I hope you're being encouraged by these messages and these devotionals. Uh, I'm going to be sharing another entry from Feisty Faith, Trusting God Day by Day, the 365-day devotional that you can find on Amazon. It's book five for me. And you can find all the books on Amazon. I hope they encourage and inspire you. And I hope that you really are touched by today's message. These verses that I'm sharing in Feisty Faith are ones that have really ministered to me and encouraged me over the years. And so I hope that they encourage you. And the messages that I share, they're words that I would share if we were sitting next to each other, if we were in person together. So this one is a really near and dear verse. I know that you have some favorites, I'm sure, as well. This is one that's just very near and dear to my heart. And the title of this entry is called Wonderfully Made. And it's based on Psalm 139, verse 14. And it says, I praise you because I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. I love that, that that is King David writing about God and about how we are fearfully and wonderfully made. I hope you really let that sink in, let that soak in. I'm going to be talking more about this, actually, ladies, in book six, which hopefully I have more updates to share with you soon. But really, it's so important to know how much God loves you. And so this is the entry for uh, this is the message. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. God delights in you and wants to spend uninterrupted time with you. Don't let the noisy world drown out God's beautiful whispers to you about just how treasured you are. God does wonderful works and you are one of them. Yes, let me say that again. God does wonderful works and you are one of them, my friend. And so I hope that you receive it and really just rejoice in God's love for you. It's unconditional, as we've said before. It is magnificent. It is marvelous. It is miraculous and lovely. That's actually the name of my blog. And that's where I celebrate God's miraculous love for us. It's amazing. It's precious and you are treasured, you are wonderful, you're fearfully and wonderfully made. You don't usually hear that, right? If, if no one's told you today, I wanna to be the first one to tell you and to remind you that you are fearfully and wonderfully made, my friend. You are precious, you are beloved, God loves you. And so I want you to just rejoice in that. And it's as, as we, really bask in God's love for us. That's how we can love him back. We can love others and we can pour out and we can really soar. Are you soaring this year? I also hope you're abiding, right? That's my one word for this year, abide. And so this is part of it, abiding in his word and really receiving what it is that God says about you. This is in the Bible. Definitely read Psalm 139. It's one of my favorite Psalms. Read it and really meditate on it and really chew on it and really receive it for yourself. And it's not about being prideful, you know, being proud or anything or boasting, but you can say to yourself when you're looking in the mirror, or I am fearfully and wonderfully made. God's work is wonderful. And you're one of them. You're God's handiwork here. His workmanship, his poem, his masterpiece. Yeah, sure. Do we have bumps and bruises and flaws? Of course, we're works in progress. But when God sees us, he sees us as his masterpiece, as his beloved daughter or son, and he loves us. We are his children. So I hope this encourages you. I hope this inspires you. If so, please take a moment to press like, to leave a comment, 
to share it with somebody else who needs this encouragement in this month. This month can be tough for people depending on what the relationship is like with their mom and if they're a mom and if their mom is still here, it can be rough. We also have Memorial Day coming up where we remember and reflect and honor those who paid the price, the ultimate price for our freedom but it's also the unofficial start to summer. So there's much going on. Again, it's a time of transition as we transition into a new season, but in, uh, encourage somebody else, tag them, share it with them and uh, let people know about feisty faith, trusting God day by day. Like I said, there's 365 Bible verses, as well as inspirational messages. There's also enough room for you to journal. If you're a journaler, let me know. You can also uh, find me on Instagram, Abounding Faith, or Abound in Faith, depending on what social media you're looking at. But I hope that you're being encouraged and inspired both by these videos and there's also podcast episodes, Abounding Faith for today. You can find it wherever you listen to podcasts. And I look forward to hearing from you. So I hope this encourages and inspires you. Have a wonderful month and let's see what the Lord is doing. Amen. Until, oh, I let me pray for you. Father God, we thank you, Lord. We thank you for this time. I thank you for my friend who's watching. Bless, bless him or her and encourage us, Lord. Remind us how much you love us and that we are fearfully and wonderfully made in your image. You love us. You love us unconditionally. And you have a plan and purpose for us. So encourage us and remind us how much you love us and let us just soak in that love. And thank you for helping us each day and throughout the year. Thank you. And we ask this all in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Well, thanks so much. And until next time, God bless.